and welcome all of you to this tutorial where we are going to use Tinkercad to simulate a servo motor so that we can change its position from 180 degrees and we can also get back to its original position. So let's see a few theory things that is what is a servo motor? A servo motor or servo motor, it's actually a way of uh, representing or writing it, is a rotatory actuator or linear actuator that allows for precise control of angular or linear position, velocity and acceleration. So basically what it is, it's, you can think of it as something that you supply electricity to and then it provides a rotatory motion. What is Arduino? Arduino is an open source microcontroller which is used for making electronic projects. What is Tinkercad? Tinkercad is an open source software used for simulation purposes. Now, let's see. Why do we use Tinkercad for simulation? So, the reason for using Tinkercad as a simulation software is because in research and development process, say I want to make a switch. So, in order to make a switch, I know of 10 different components that I can use to make the switch. So, in order to understand which is the best switch, or no, I'm sorry, which is the best component for this switch, I am going to use all of these 10 different components and then find out. So, it usually requires me to buy all of these 10 components so that increases the cost of my project so i wanted to make a switch but i bought 10 different components for this switch so there it, it would have been better if i could somehow simulate those 10 different components and understand how they work by using a simulation software so that i could just purchase the one that i want and it would highly reduce my cost of the project so that is the purpose of using simulation software and what is a servo motor and I have already explained what is a servo motor so the main use of servo motor is actually in robotics you can see those bionic arms those are being controlled by servo motors and you can also see wide variety of applications of servo motors in robotics. Let's see the beautiful interface of the Tinkercad software that we were talking about. So this is the pin number 12 that we have connected to the single pin of the servo. This is the ground pin which is connected here. You can see connected to this railing here. And this railing is connected to the ground of Arduino. This is plus 5 volts connected to this railing here. And you can see we have connected this to the power of our servo. So let's jump back into the code. Here you can see I've included this is the library that we are going to use for this. So library is basically a set of instructions which have been written down so that the coding process of our project gets easier. These are the variables that I've declared I'm, I'm going to use for this project and this is the object that I'm going to use. This is another variable which will store the position of our servo. So this line of code basically tells the Arduino to open the serial monitor and this is the line of code which tells the servo to be at its zeroth position at the start of the project. So this is the pin that I have, or pin number 12 have been used. And this is the line of code which tells the Arduino that pin number 12 has been assigned to the single pin of the servo. So basically what this line of code does is it starts the micro servo from its zeroth position to, 180, to a complete 180 degree position in increments of plus one. So that would mean zero, one, two, three, four, and so on up to 180. And when we have reached 180, this line of code will execute which will decrement the position of our servo from 180 to 0 degrees. Let's see what is going on in actual simulation. Sorry. Let's see. You can see this is the 0 position. It's moving to 180, 180 back to its 0 position. So this was the tutorial how we can use the servo, Arduino and Tinkercad together to perform a simulation. 
Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something from it.